Hello, uh, good morning. How are you? Uh, it's Morat Sultan with the uh, HSM. Uh, so again with you again in order to uh, uh, start doing, let's say, the next lecture that deals about making scale drones. Okay, we did it before. Let's say we saw we saw before how to use a bearing. Okay, now how can we let's say use or make a scale drone? Okay, so we we'll start. Making a scale drones. Student book page 162. Okay. So, today is uh, 13th April 2020, Monday. Okay. So, making scale drones. Student book page 162. First of all, you can use bearing. Is you can use bearing is a scan drone to help you solve problems. Okay, you can use bearing and also scan drones. Okay, to help you what solve some problems. Okay, so when you make scan drones, you must always measure all the lengths and angles accurately. Be careful. Okay, so when we talk, when we uh, let's say use or make a scale drone, you should always measure all the lengths, okay, and the angles accurately, okay. Don't don't forget. So scales are in fact are also used in maps. You can find some scales in maps, okay. Then. Maps often have scales such as 1 to 50,000 or 1 to 80 to 800,000. Okay, so this, these two scales that I will work with. Okay, we have scales that say that can be. Scales, let's say, uh, like one fifteen thousand or one to eight hundred thousand. Let's say is a using in max. When you convert between a distance and a map, when you convert between a distance and a map, and the actual distance, you need to convert units such as centimeters and kilometers. Okay, so we told okay when you convert between distance on the map and the actual distance, you need to convert to use such centimeter and kilometer. Means what? Means, for example, if we convert from four kilometer to centimeter, we should multiply by what? You should multiply first to meter. You multiply this by 1000. Okay. Then to convert to centimeter, you should multiply by 100. Okay. Means this one it will be 400. Okay. 400,000 centimeters. So 4 kilometer equal 400,000. Centimeter. Okay, let's start. Here we have a ship Lewis Harbour. Lewis Harbour. And say this 120 kilometers. On a bearing of, of 85 degrees. It then sells 90 kilometers on a bearing of 135 degrees. Okay. So, make a scale drawing of the ship, the journey, use a scale of 1 cm, represent what? 1 cm, represent 1 cm, equal what? Equal 10 km. This is the scale that we use. Okay? Then, okay, question number two, this is small i. Make a scale drawing of of uh, 
the ship's journey, you use the scale of one centimeter, represents 10 kilometers. Then, how far and on what bearing must the ship now sail to turn to the harbor? Okay. First of all, in order to answer the first question, my kids, we should do as the following. First of all, first of all try to draw a north arrow. Try to draw a north arrow. Okay, this is harbor and this is the north arrow. Okay, and then we label it as north direction. Okay, so first draw a north arrow and measure the bearing of 85 degrees. Then you will use your protector, protector and try to measure an angle of what? Of 85 degrees. Then extend this map. Okay, so we call draw north arrow and measure the bearing of 85 degree. Then, then what else? To find the distance from harbour to this point, I should divide what? 120 by 10. Okay, so I will divide 120 divided by 10. Give us what? Give us 12. Okay, and what about the unit? Is centimeter. Okay. Why? Because we told one centimeter is equal to ten kilometers, and we have here one hundred and twenty kilometers. So, in order to get how many centimeters, we should divide one hundred and twenty by by ten. So, twelve centimeter, twelve centimeter equal. 120 kilometers or just multiply this by 12 and this is by 12. So the, the distance between hardboard to this one is 20 centimeters. Okay. Then we talk, then divide 100 by 120 by 10 because 1 centimeter represents or equal to 10 centimeters. So 120 divided by 10 gives 12 centimeters. Long to represent the first part of the journey. This one is what? is the first part first part of the journey of the journey okay then now i will try to draw the second one the second row north direction this one is north direction is north direction Okay, now draw another row, north direction, a row, at the end of the first line, and then measure what measure a bearing of 135 degree. Okay, because here you can see that. Then it sails for the first one, a ship leaves harbour and sails 100 km. Okay, this is harbour, the shape, the ship we call uh, leaves harbour. Okay. And say it is 120 kilometer means 12 centimeter. I will divide by 10 because we told one centimeter. Let's get one centimeter equal 10 kilometers. Okay. So then after the, this is the first part of the journey, then I will draw another north row and at the end of the first line. Okay. I will draw like that. Then I will measure. A bearing of 135 degree. Why? Because here it then sails 90 km on a bearing of 135 degree. So, first of all, I will, from this point, north direction, I will measure an angle of 135 degree. You will use your protractor. After doing this, then what? Then draw a line from the last, the end of the first part of the journey. Okay, to the to the ship. Okay, then I will measure this one, my kids, from this to this, from the end of the first part of the journey to the second part of the journey. I will start from there, but I will try to find this distance. This distance is what, in fact, we told 90 kilometers. 90 kilometers is equal is equal what as centimeter. Okay, you just divide by 
10. Why? Because one centimeter equal 10 can, can 10 to itself should divide by 10. It will be 9 centimeters. So this one, my kids, is 9 from this to this is 9 centimeters. So this one is 9 centimeters. Okay. This is 9 centimeters. Then we, what? We represent the second part of the journey. You see, the second part of, from this to this, is called the second part of the journey. Second part. Second part. Okay, of the journey. So, then, this is for small i. Look here, small i. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, make a scale of the wing of the ship's journey in the scale of one centimeter. Then, how far and on what bearing must the ship now sail to return back? This is double i, like this. This is double i. Okay, and this is small i. So, we answer small i. Okay, means what? Means we made this is not direction. This is hard more, I will just take HA. This is my case. This is 85 degree. This is 12 centimeter. And this is the north direction. Then this is north direction. This is 135. Okay, this is the sh and this is 90 centimeter. Why? Because 90 divided by 10 gives us 9 centimeter. And 120 divided by 10 gives us what gives us 12 centimeters. Okay. The next one. Now for question number two. How far? Question number two. How far? How far and on what bank must the ship now sail to return to the harbor? Okay. We see the distance. How far? This is the distance. The distance here, my kids, you will use your ruler. Okay. And try to measure this one. Okay. This is, in fact, is. 19.1 centimeter. If you would like to convert to kilometer, you multiply this by what? By 10. It will be 191 kilometer. Why? Because 1 centimeter should be equal to 10. 10 kilometers. Okay? You see the scale of growth. Okay, so this one is not direction. Mm -hmm. This is we told. 85 degree. This is the distance. Okay, travels. So it will be uh, 12 centimeter from this to this. 12 centimeter. Then I will measure 135 degree, and this is 9 centimeter because we did before 90 divided by 10 gives gives what gives 9, and this is 120 divided by 10 gives 12. And this is sense you will just use your ruler to measure this line segment from the ship to the harbor. It will be 19.1. Okay, first of all, first draw a straight line joining the ship to the harbor. Okay, I will draw this line joining the ship to the harbor. Then I will measure the length of this line segment. You use your ruler and you will find approximately equal 19.1 centimeter. Okay? Then, okay, mm -hmm. in centimeter, the unit is in centimeter. Multiply the scale to work out the distance the ship has to say. Mm -hmm. So we can let's say, uh, if you would like to convert to kilometer, just it will be 191 kilometers. Okay, then draw a north row like that. This is his end. 
Okay. Then I will try to find the bearing of her moon from the sheet, meaning like that. I will try to measure this angle. Okay. We told that draw north arrow from the position of the sheet. This is north arrow from the position of the sheet. Then I will try to measure this band or this angle. Okay, and measure the angle to give the band on which the sheet needs to, to say to return to the harbour. Okay, needs to say to return to the harbour. So, what we do here, my kids? Yes, this one we told 135, and this one is what is 45 degree. Why? Because corresponding uh, supplementary angles adds to 108. Okay, then so this one is to be equal to approximately from this to this is. 286 okay 200 the bearing is 286 okay this is 100 this one is 180 this one 180 degree plus and this angle is 106 approximately 106 106 degree. Okay, so it will be 180 plus 106. Six, 180 plus 106 equal 682. Equal 286. Okay. Now, uh, 